Um, first of all, is that my t-shirt? I oh, oh yes, of course, yeah. Rest in peace, Bobby. See, that's that's really good. Thank you. I like it. I've asked everyone that question because I think <laughs> everyone needs to know that I've got the t-shirt. Are you the only one who's got it? Oh, well, no one else has got one. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Respect you. Respect them. <laughs> Deborah Debs, welcome to my soul. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you for coming down on our second birthday. Oh yeah, of course I had to. You've been very, very supportive of my music, so I had to be here. I was just going to mention your music, actually, mm -hmm. so I'm glad you brought it up. Mm -hmm. Fantastic new album. Thank you. When did it all start? When, tell me all about it. Um, it, it started, well, I started working on the album in 2011 and then worked on pretty much 70% of the tracks, took a break all year 2012 and then released it last November. But I, I studied, excuse me, I studied music at uni. Um, and I was turning 30 in 2011, so I decided to get my album out. Um, but yeah, I put in lots of love, lots of work into it. Um, and was it, it a labour of love? It was a labour labor of love. It was more than that. It was affection. It was, um, it was, it was emotion. It was realness. Um, and I'm, I'm now panicking about my second album, wondering what I'm going to talk about. Really? Yeah, because the first album is me. You know, everything you know comes from sort of my personal experiences and the experiences of friends and family. So I'm now thinking, hmm, what am I going to say next time? <laughs> and is it going to be as good and well received? And um, it happens with a lot of um, artists. You know, your first material is just you know on the money, excellent stuff, and then your second material is like, uh, you just released it because you wanted to release it, didn't you? <laughs> But I'm, I'm going to try and take my time and do something as good. So who was influencing you when you were thinking of putting that album together? What sort of things were you listening to? Um, I was listening to... Can I just turn you around? Yes, of course, yeah. Sorry. I was listening to um, to jazz. Um, I'm a big fan of um, Ella Fitzgerald, but I used to listen to the likes of um, Louis Armstrong, Chet Baker, Sarah Vaughan. Not so much now because... Um, my music is, is a mesh of soul and jazz and R&B and 90s grooves. I was a big fan of Boyz II Men. Um, but when I was working on the album, I listened to a lot of Jill Scott because I'm probably one of the biggest fans. Um, I listened to um, Rasan Pedersen. Um, and I think one of, one of the tracks on the album called, um, um, I think it's Caught Up, I do some humming over the chorus and I grabbed that from him because I thought, this is, this is just like... Insane. Nobody, nobody pays attention to you know the nitty gritties of finessing you know a track. Um, so that was that was good. Um, but I listened to Michael Jackson. I listened to R. Kelly. I went back to you know Ella Fitzgerald. Um, I listened to I listened to a lot lots of gospel as well. Okay. Um, I can so, hear the gospel in your oh, in the track. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, t definitely lots of gospel um, and um, sort of Afrobeat. Um, music, so I, I wanted it to be um, um, not too obvious, but I wanted people to listen to the album and go, "Oh, I can hear R&B, I can hear soul, I can hear jazz, I can hear um, a bit of gospel, I can hear this artist and that artist and that artist," and not replicating the artist, but sort of being influenced by them. Um, to cut a long story short, so. Who helped you when you were putting the album together? Who, who was producing and or was you doing it all yourself? Or um, who, who got involved in the project? Well, I mean, financially, it was, it was, it's all come from my pocket. But um, Most Goz albums do. Yeah, of course. Every, every independent artist. You guys, <laughs> dip into your pockets and get your album out. Um, but I worked with a, an, an artist, um, a producer called Oscar Steele. And he's, he's well known in the soul community in the UK. And he does uh, Troy Bar on Tuesday nights. Uh, Polish dude, about six foot two or three bald-headed, tattooed, and you would never know, but he's just like the biggest bear ever. Um, and um, another friend of mine called Precious Abimdi worked on one of my tracks called Speeches. And I contacted a guy called um, Dwight Goodman in America to work on a track called, uh, one of the tracks called Blue Your Mind. Um, so those are the three main producers. Um, and then towards tw about two weeks before I released the album, um, I worked on a track called Awake With You with um, a guitarist friend of mine called Lekin, um, and my keyboardist called um, Tony. So those are the five key guys who sort of brought their musicianship into the album. But obviously a lot of the writing is me and you know, sort of directing where I wanted the tracks to go um, obviously comes from me. 
So let's go back to your background. I mean, where, where, where were you born? Where did you grow up? Mm -hmm. um, I was born in Cameroon, Africa, West Africa. We share a border with Nigeria. <laughs> That's my claim to fame. Because <laughs> no one knows of Cameroon. Where are you? Uh, yeah, we share a border with Nigeria. Like, oh, yeah, oh, I know where Nigeria is. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, yeah. Cameroon is right around the corner. Um, <laughs> but I was, yeah, I was born in Cameroon, and I came here in 2000 um, to study film yeah. and drama. Uh, I didn't like it, so I ended up doing music. Um, so, yeah, I've been here 14 years. How did you get involved in singing in the first incident? I mean, you came to do film and drama, but I know, suddenly yeah. you're, you're bringing out an album. How yeah, it's, it's, it's quite bizarre. I mean, I was in, um, in Cameroon, I went to an an all girls boarding school and it was a missionary school and you know we sang every day and I joined the choir when I was 13 uh, I was in a sort of girl group and we would write our own songs and we would learn to harmonize and lots of vocal training so singing was new to me but predominantly as an African child when you your parents send you abroad it's to get a you know sort of formal education in I don't know maybe business I don't know maybe learn to be an investment banker or whatever it is uh, medicine and it's it's all got to be accountancy um, yeah do you know what <laughs> i mean um but I, I i chose drama and, and film because i was um, one of the top drama students at you know at secondary school so my mum she was open to that um but when i changed my mind and just wanted to sing uh, yeah i got the fight of my life from my mother <laughs> but i mean she's my biggest fan right now she's like totally supportive and, and how has the album been perceived by, you know, your peers, your family? And yeah, it's people respect, respect the effort. They love it. Um, and, you know, they're very supportive. They come to shows. You know, if I've got something to tweet about, they'll retweet it. Um, and they'll share it and they'll talk about it. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm some people's claim to fame. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Deborah Debs, you're going to be famous. We want to be with you. And I'm like... Okay, I haven't met the biggest stars yet. So have they turned around and said, "Can I have a copy of your album yet?" Though. Oh yeah, of course they've had to buy it. They've had no they've choice. They've had to buy it. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna buy my album, yeah? That's, that was my next question. <laughs> then where I was gonna say, "Can I have a copy of your album?" But never mind. Well, <laughs> you gotta buy it. You gotta buy it. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. what's the next step for you then? Well, um, I, the next. Well, I, I've got three shows this July. So I've got. Um, I'm performing at Jazz Cafe on the 23rd. Um, 22nd in Birmingham and 24th in Manchester, all supporting Mesa Leek. She okay. used to sing for Incognito. Yeah. She did. She, she was she was um, nominated for a Grammy. Um, this, you know the last Grammy. Um, so I um, I'm going to be supporting her. And I'm really looking forward to those. I've just released a uh, video for one of my tracks called Sometimes. Uh, two days ago, I put it up on YouTube. Uh, it's been it's been well received. Um, and then I've got a few shows coming up abroad. I'm going to keep quiet about those for now until they're fully confirmed. And then I will be working on the second album. You're going to start immediately on the second album? Well, Strike maybe in about start. two months. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, maybe in about two months. Because I started working on the first album three years ago. So I, I need to start working on this album. So I released it in 2017. <laughs> I'm only <really> joking. <laughs> I hope we get it a bit sooner than that. <laughs> Actually, I, I can sing a little bit. Can and you? I'm thinking if I can do a bit of a, like a little duet on the album or, or come and do a little something. Because there's a saying, you know, write a note and you're in for a royalty. So. I need to audition you, though. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's ruined We'll have it. to set a date. That's blown it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can sing. I'm sure you can sing. No, I, Everyone's can't, got, I can't sing a note. I'm have you sorry. got a trainable voice? Do you know if you have a trainable voice? What's a trainable voice? Well, some people, when they talk and hum and, you know, attempt mm -hmm. to sing, you can tell, well, yeah, I think you have a trainable voice. You reckon? Yeah. So do you think you can hum me key. to sing? Yeah. Can I hum Go. Amazing grace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, need to, you need to sing it. <laughs> no, you're not going to get me singing on camera because Tom will just laugh. <laughs> it's Loudly. All <laughs> it's all good. So it's our second birthday. Yeah, well done. Would you like to sing happy birthday to my song? Why not? Crack on. Do I face the camera? Be nice. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to my soul. Happy birthday to you. Thank you.
Thank you very day. much. You're very welcome. Cheers. Thank you so much. <laughs> I will.